The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. When was the last time you had really good Texas-style barbecue? Eric's Family Barbecue, the way it's supposed to taste. Always delicious, never rushed, and prepared to perfection. Eric's Family Barbecue uses only 100% fresh meat, slowly smoked over mesquite wood until it's juicy and delicious. We all know their brisket is the best, but have you tried their pulled pork, pork ribs, or rib tips? Amazing, and their sides are all house-made. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be so. Sorry, go to ericsfamilybbq.com for more information. This man needs medical attention. Holmberg's morning sickness. The old method of treatment for a person in this condition was to throw him in jail. It is time for us to uh, continue on this uh, nonsense by bringing you only the news Brady knows. It's called The Brady Report. It's brought to you by our friends at Hooters. Oh, Lordy, I forgot already. It's Wings Day. Day. Brady, it's Wings Day. Can we remember this every time we have to think about it? It's right in front of us all the time. And here is Wings Day once again. And uh, you guys blew them out of wings so badly that now Wings Day is just, uh, it's different. used to be all the wings you could eat. You guys went in there, destroyed their collection of wings. So now, not that. It's uh, 20 wings, gets you 10 free all day, every Wednesday, dine in or take out. You know it goes great with wings, Brady? Beer. Mick Ultra. That's right. Throw Mick Ultra in that mix. Get yourself all prepped up for Wings Day. Yeah, yeah, feeling good on a Wednesday. Hooters and Mick Ultra bring you the Brady Report. Brady Report. Good Wings Day morning to you, Phoenix. Hello, we're Hi. happy information overload day. Well, we're, we got that. It's every day. That's every single day. These damn it, hand brains we're carrying Go around. Go out of your way today. To overload Just, it. Yeah, extra, extra work. Well, we learned some stuff this morning. We, we, we did. Declotage and whatever that word you said. Narthex. What's that? It's you, the entrance of a church or a Is like that right? Hallway. Yeah, the narthex. And, uh, when did you learn that? That had to be just new. Um, my friend Matt Markwood, his dad, Philip Markwood's an architect. And narthex is the entrance to a church only. I think so. I mean, I think a narthex could be another, um, I mean, put into another building, but it was, I think it's a church term. Huh. It's where I saw it because we did the flooring in a church and I saw narthex. You did the flooring in a church? Yeah. What do you mean? When I was uh, selling carpeting back in the day. I thought you meant just just over the last couple of days. Years ago, John. And you knew what narthex was. Yeah. And you threw that in as your word of the day over deglotage. And now even less sent your sentence, the narthex to the deglotage. And the lighting. And this narthex, your decolletage looks fabulous. It's pretty good. Pretty nice. Except for you're not really hitting on chicks in a church entry, you know? Slam. You slam. No, no, no. You got to oh. be like the church, hitting on a young boy, telling him about his decolletage. Hey, kid, you doing long division yet? Because I'd like to long divide you. That decolletage has me. But Father Dale knows that definition. Oh, he knows Up all about down. the narthex <laughs> and a little boy's decolletage. <laughs> Somebody said for a man, Brady, so you know to remember what a deglutage is. That's where the Cheeto dust rests after you're done eating right. the bat. <laughs> and it made sense. Yeah, now you know. Got a couple of baseless fun facts. You probably knew this. Canadian radio stations are required by law. Play Canada. Got to play an artist from Canada. What do you think the percentage is? I think it used to be like 20-something. I think it's 37 or something. Is, that, is it higher? 35. Yeah. 35, yeah. They were up because that's why Brian Adams and Alanis Morissette. And were, Ann Murray trickles in no oh, matter sure. what your She's still format fighting. is. And then the Bare Naked Ladies and Rush. Rush. Oh, my God. They have to have a station. Lover Boy. Rush. Oh, Lover Boy. That's right. I forgot about them. Danko Jones, Canadian, too. Danko's Canadian? Yeah. Oh. So he gets played a lot up there. I still like him. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's uh, not much to choose from, but they have plenty of Canadian acts. Snow. Informer yeah. probably still rolls out every once in a while. <laughs> you know, said that I miss no me, I'll go blame. I leg it, boom, boom, down. Detect him on the side, I miss no me, down. Yeah, he's oh, from man. Toronto. Man. Drake. Again, Drake is here. Oh, Drake, yeah. Second largest population of Jamaicans in the world is Toronto, Canada. No kidding. Yeah. That's and that's where. drums up there. Isn't it? Yeah, that's where snow grew up in the Jamaican section of Toronto. That's why Cool Runnings was a thing. Yeah, okay. Because we're Jamaicans in Canada. People don't know much about that, but it's huge. The average bra size in the U.S. is now 
Uh, skin it ladies, I'm saying 45 triple R. They're a bit thick around the back. 34 double D. Yeah. The boobs. That's average. Average. You know why that is, right? Because of all the chubs. Pigs. Yeah, 30 pig, years ago. Because that. that sounds good on paper. Yeah. But it ain't. That means there's way too many triple E grandma hogs out there with that back fat rolling over the sides Ooh. of the bra. So 30 years ago, the average was? 34 B. Yep. Yeah. How many years ago? 30. Oh, wow. Which is 1991, by the way. So 30 years ago, ladies were normal. Then we had the big fat explosion of the late 90s, early 2000s. And America got massive. I, I was behind a school bus again. Put the stop sign out and let those kids. And I'm like, oh, this is fun because last time I saw this, all the kids get out one at a time and then freak out and haul ass one direction or the other because they got their parents pick them up from the bus, which doesn't make any sense. This time, <laughs> it was a different bus, a different bus stop. I'm like, oh, I like watching kids run if they're in peril. That excites me. <laughs> and they were getting off, and it was just one giant kid after another. Like every single one of them, eight years old, 150 pounds. I'm like, my God, there's like. And then, and then they take 10 steps to a car. Like, walk home. Put those legs to use. And then they're going to be the ones with gigantic E fat cans yeah. screwing up the average. Plus Scottsdale and Beverly Hills and all that. They're wrecking it, too, with those clown cans those weirdos are putting in with their gigantic wax lips. I wonder lips if that does their... bring up the average. It might. It does. There's more phony boobs in most major metropolitan areas than not. There's a crazy amount of fake cans. Circumcision became popular in the late 1800s, because it was allegedly supposed to cure masturbation. At least for a well, couple of weeks. failed. Yeah. Because it, cause you're supposed to be more sensitive with the flap. I'm plenty sensitive. <laughs> I still go, don't, don't touch it, don't touch it, at all the right times. Tinder just added a new feature on their app called Plus One. It helps you find a date to one-off events like weddings. Oh. Or if you don't have... A wedding to go to, you can sign up, put yourself out there as a potential wedding date. They say it's something people need right now because oh, the high. upcoming oh, wedding alone. season yeah. is supposed to be get paid the busiest this. in 35 years. Have some pride and go to the wedding by yourself rather than take it's a out stranger. Now. You're a loser if you go no, to the wedding. No, you're not. That's, you're a loser if you bring a stranger. Well, of course, Tinder's trying to sell you stuff. Right. You bring a stranger to a wedding... You're admitting you're a loser. Bring LaFonda, man. Oof. If you haven't boned it, it doesn't go to a wedding with you. Man or woman, both sides. If you haven't been inside that human being or vice versa, you cannot take it to a wedding or a family thing. Don't threaten that because then th these chicks are going to be holding on. I'm not going to that wedding. Yeah, I'm holding out. Good. <laughs> then I don't want to go to a wedding either. If you can keep, She won't go and then we'll, come, we'll lie and say somebody in our family died. I don't want to go to a wedding either. Last thing I want to do is go to a wedding with, uh, as a first date. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's get to the important news. Taco Bell is kicking off their breakfast. They've been advertising. You know, they've kind of fallen off, and then they're going to – they did it for a while. Every you know couple years, they keep trying to yeah. go yeah. back to breakfast. Eggs, tortillas, you're done. Tomorrow, you can get a free toasted breakfast burrito from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Ooh. Taco Bell Nationwide. Okay. So you can do it here. Go to New Mexico, get some more. <laughs> you got to go state to state. Keep an eye yeah. on you uh, <laughs> by the borders of states. So you got to cross over a few state lines to get doubles. There's three of them on the way into work. I'll grab you guys one tomorrow. Each one? You think you, they're, they're going to put up a picture of a guy who just did it at the first one? <laughs> right. <laughs> I think you can outrun them. I think you can stay away from the taco leaves. <laughs> the other thing the, is the Taco Bell, most Taco Bells don't want cops nearby. They'll lose their whole kitchen staff. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids popcorn. Gross. It's a new thing. No, it's not. Walmart is getting it first. Of course they are. You'll be able to eventually buy it at other stores, but it's launched Walmart. Uh, the company, the brand Candy Pop, is putting it out. They have other versions, too. Like they just throw Sour Chip Patch Ahoy Kids. Chip Ahoy popcorn. But is it just in there with it? Little bits of oh, okay. Sour Patch Kids are it's coated the popcorn. Ah. Oh, but it's not that false, weird powder crap that's on everything as a flavoring. There's just Sour Patch Kids in the popcorn. Like no, a trail they, mix they for got pigs. little pieces of gummy candy stuck to every kernel. Right. So it's sprinkled in there. Gross. Sounds terrible. Yeah, if you don't like that, you can get the Chip Ahoy, Chips Ahoy, M&M's, Oreos, 
Twix popcorn, Snickers popcorn. Yeah, I used to like to pour my M&Ms in the popcorn. Yeah, there's still people that. But Sour Patch Kids, that's weird. M&Ms in your popcorn? Yeah, you just pour the plain M&Ms right. in there. It's not bad. A guy named Noel Cole was pulled over by the cops in Missouri on Saturday. He was wanted on a felony warrant. Don't know what he was in trouble for, but the deputy started asking questions, and Noel decided to make a break for it on foot. The deputy took off after him. He was able to catch up with him because Noel was also carrying something in his hands, a Marie Callender's chocolate cream pie. Oh, yeah. Must have been important. (laughs) I can picture what this guy looks like. (laughs) He was moving. Yeah, I know. Brady, you might might want to lay low for a little while if he's still on the lamb. People are going to ask you. You're going to be like Brian Laundrie. They're going to be kicking your door and looking for that pie. They wouldn't have caught me. You don't think so? The pie would have been gone. gone. The evidence would have been (laughs) definitely taken care of. The uh, transporter in India, Nitin Gatkari. Nailed it. Yep. Said he wants to introduce a new law to replace the sound of vehicle horns with the sound of Indian musical instruments. Oh. He also wants to take it to the next level and say ambulances and sirens. Now Indian music. And he gave an example. Get out of the way, asshole. Move. <laughs> You're not far off. He said it's m- much more pleasing to the ears than the... This would be your car horn. <laughs> Move, asshole. They're plugging up the entire road. Wait, it gets better. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm. You think you have road rage now? Some guy is sitting at you. That guy gets after you. If, if you're checking your text out of light in there. Move up to the car. I'm gonna go kill an Indian. I gotta kill an Indian. Please move your vehicle. Do it again. I dare you. Look at the pretty fender looking guy. Someone's injured. We have to pull over. We have to pull over. There's an emergency vehicle behind us. Oh, this is a bad accident. Can you imagine that pulling it like in the middle of the night that drives down your street? Can't help. Everyone's dancing oh, on the side never of the road. sleep again. Again, another emergency vehicle heading towards the river of... What would you rather have? The that siren. Or the, or the sirens all the night sirens long. are fine. Because they're busy. Sirens are fine. Are there, Indi- are there uh, sirens, the ones that, that like, whine? Like the European ones? The Euro. yeah. I don't know. I would Not go in my them. neighborhood. In, in India. That's in my neighborhood. This is what the guy wants your car horn to sound like. This, the car horn's the guy. That. Yeah. Well, that's what the dude hanging out the window or the people on the roof are supposed to be right, doing. Right, that's what's happening anyway, right? Yeah, in India, you've got 55 people on top of the car going, no, 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 the entire time. Anyway, <laughs> you don't need a car horn. No, 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 stop the car. They are pretty skilled at You don't need a car horn down there. Most people are on scooters with like nine people on them. They got those rickshaws. Yeah. No, 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 no. Three wheelers. You've gotten in my way, you asshole. Suck rubber. This local uh, meteorologist in um, Spokane, Washington. Oh, I heard about this. I know what you're going to talk about here. This is good stuff. Cream News, K-R-E-M. Oh, I didn't know this. Creme. But- I know. <laughs> <laughs> is this the one where we went naked? Creme color. Yeah, she yeah. was doing the weather, yeah. and in the background, one of the screens. Porn. 13 seconds of porn. They didn't turn it off. You got video? Oh. Um, I think there is. Wait a minute. Oh, we got to see this. Think. You, you sought out a cobra getting a bath, and you see this headline, and you didn't fight for a video? <laughs> it's Brady. blurred out. Oh, Brady. Blur you out. <laughs> you should have done that. All they say, that. it's the it's, uh, woman's backside. That's her butt. I know. It's that, still better than cobra saying. taking a bath. Yeah. But you there had to butt? be more to it. Her butt? Yeah. There's a front, too, Brady. No. <laughs> There's more to her than just her ass. You sexist son of a bitch. Because if it was just a mooning. The 13 second mooning is. Cream news. Bringing you the weather. We got a weather front right here on the Starlight. On the bed. cream. Mm. Was, oh. it, was it at least a nice butt? Police are investigating. Well, yeah, because somebody yeah, hacked, hacked their system. They're claiming it. that it wasn't them. But it Come was, on. Yeah. Like, Jay Gutentag thinks you did it. She thinks you got <laughs> access to it. She thinks you quarantine her emails now. She said that – she emailed me last night. She said, uh, hey, man, don't let Dick fool you, man. He's playing you like a fiddle. 
all my emails going to quarantine. You think that's a coincidence? I'm like, I don't think Toledo's smart enough. <laughs> oh, he's got you fooled, man. He's going after it. He thinks that you take all our emails and push uh, push him into quarantine. And I'm like, I don't Damn it, she's figured me uh, out. Toledo can't figure out the vending machine. He just makes <laughs> he just he just plays dumb, man, and then he goes after the He's manipulating, manipulate, manipulative nice. man. He's also a, a. That's right. I get fired from the Raiders job, man. <laughs> Fisher Price. So here's wait. Hold on. This is it, right? It's is this video? Ah. Oh. Oh. Says wild and dry just... weather this week. Well, a little lube will take care of that. Judging from the picture, you don't have any video of this. We have video of everything on the planet. We don't have. Seems to have any video. Seattle News losing their minds over butts. Okay. Doesn't matter. They're all the same. Hippies. <laughs> Fisher Price is selling a new Bluetooth version of the classic toy phone. Actually, one you can have your kids dial up. You know, the play telephone. Great. They're going to plug into Alexa now it'll, with their play oh, phones. It it'll be available at uh, Best Buy. They're taking orders right now. It's 60 bucks. You can check it out. It's pretty sweet. A toy phone? Yeah. Why is it sweet? It came out originally in 1961. Any kids dial, they can dial again. Because now you can use it as a phone. You, you, used, yeah. you just used your finger. Nobody's using the rotary Hold on phone anymore. Make makes them, re- fun makes them for- remember the number now, phone numbers. What is the fun of a, a, f- a phone that doesn't do anything? It's like a dead you phone. You can make calls on it now. Oh, you actually, it's yeah, not a fake phone. Yeah, it was phone a play then. phone. That's right. It's a Bluetooth phone now. Okay, so it's a real phone. So you're yeah. giving your kids a cell phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or, does, or it might difference? just tap into your phone, like it, it oh. Bluetooths into your phone. I don't think you – I don't know. Just get your kid a phone. Yeah. It's already useless. The, the next generation is just oh, going to be a bunch of screen-faced kids. Brady's right. It does have the rotary phone on it. It has the, the – Rotary <laughs> dial. Nobody's going to be – Dial on the number. Stupid. That's what adults would want. A kid wouldn't want a rotary phone. He doesn't know what it is. That's why you're getting it. Why? Teach him. He's not nostalgic. Important part of history. No, it's not. Dial. It's not an important part. So no. it's the iron lung, and we're not throwing those around. This is it. They do it like an apple. That'll be available at Best Buy next yeah. year. This makes parents feel like they've got something going on. The kids don't remember this. It's dumb. No, but they'll like that toy. Why? It doesn't even look like a phone in their lives. They still buy them. No, nah, they don't. Now it's got Bluetooth. Who I'm... still buys them? Who's kids love little... those no, phones. <laughs> I'm with Toledo, though. I mean, You're then drunk. the kid on Bluetooth is going to start controlling Alexa yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I was going to hear the goddamn baby shark yeah. every five uh, seconds. That's right. Nailed it. Yep. yep. Well, that thing in the trash. Yep. The kid? I agree. Well, that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what you meant, right? <laughs> yeah, of Toss course. that thing in the trash <laughs> and sell the phone on eBay. How about this one? The guy designed an alarm clock. Um, went up by Squid Game. He basically made the little girl, you know, in red light, green light. Oh, yeah. Made a mini version of it. Oh, cool. And uh, you gotta check it out. It does kind of the sounds from Squid Game, like the Korean voices, the language of Korea. That'll wake you up a little bit, and a little <laughs> yeah, well. uh, computer sounds. And then if it, if that doesn't wake you up, her head turns. She shoots you and spits a dart at you. Red light. That would be pretty neat. The guy gets pegged in the head. Is it? Oh, it really does spit yeah. a dart. Thought you're taking it too far. That'll wake you. Oh, wow. Hey, whoa. And it really, is it real or is this a yeah. joke? That dart stuck, Brady. That was a real dart. I don't think this is a real. Dart. No, it sticks in his back. He has to pull it out. a lot of hair. <laughs> That's a real yeah, dart. It did stick in him. <laughs> I, yeah. think, I think you, you and Brett might be manipulated by the internet too much. <laughs> His post says, we don't sell this yet. It's just a 3D concept right yeah, now. Yeah, it's not real. <laughs> Brady fell for It'll it. be available It'll be available soon. with those phony Fisher-Price phones. Which one would you rather have? Uh, n- neither. <laughs> Kids get nostalgic about my past. <laughs> <laughs> Got a quick, they? Uh, yeah. I don't understand. Like getting them a light bright. They're going to look at you like you're a moron. I have an iPad, you idiot. Light bright? It's Bluetooth now. All your stuff goes on to the you screen. You can call on your light bright? Stupid. That's for somebody's second childhood. You get that for Grandpa when he starts not remembering anybody's names anymore. Remember the old phone, Grandpa? I do. <laughs> Got a quick radio video. Brett, contain yourself. Oh. Uh.
This God, is, uh, is going to suck. Drunk people. You really doing oh, all right. Maybe not. It's drunk people. Uh, drunk so people going forward with this one. Brady's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Toledo's seen it. That's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's, I don't want to know what's happening. Is he drunk? Yeah. It's a late night meal. He's drunk. Ed Cain's. <laughs> oh, he's a caniac who lost his balance on the chair. Or the chair broke. Why is his soda so far away from him? Why does they he don't do that to the caniac? Yeah, you keep a caniac soda nearby. Sometimes that <laughs> chair goes out from under him. And then he got up and went, hey, hey, hey. That's a big dude. It's a big man. <laughs> that chair didn't stand a chance. One more French fry, you gone through the floor. All right, Brady likes that one too much. <laughs> That's how good Raising Cane's is. It is, man. It is good. Break both your legs. I like Dick Cane's, man. You can get yourself a soda. Mm. I think I was going to steal someone else's soda pop. That was on another Maybe table. Maybe that's what it was. It's a trapdoor chair. Okay. Hmm. That'll teach you for grabbing for my soda. You got more? There's one last All exciting right. one. Uh, there is? Wild America. Oh, the freeing Christ. of the really? praying Oh, mantis. you freed the that? praying mantis. <laughs> oh, I saw this train wreck. <laughs> I'm going to the vending machine. Jeez. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> is it back oh, where you yeah, found it? Where are you? No. No, oh, I let him go in my backyard. This is your backyard? Yeah. So you're still caging it. There, there he is. is. Right there. Let it's a bug, man. Right now. Look at him. We're check going him. to free him in a glorious tree here. This is a Texas laurel tree. Who cares? Man, you're worse. Seriously, are you excited TBS. right now? No. no. I'm going to kill you. Edge of your seat. There you go. You can get up This there. is why Facebook's changing its name. Want, They're look, dodging he you. He just does not want to leave. He, did, he didn't want to leave. He doesn't want to leave. See, he loves Every comment in the is jar. like, hey, Brady, have he you ever know. heard of putting he the, uh, the focus that. on what yeah. the subject yeah. matter yeah. is? Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> just filming a tree leaf, you moron. Look, that's a beautiful <laughs> Brady, Texas floral. It's a bubblegum tree. Look at him go, No, this John. stupid bug is in it for like seven seconds. This is like there's a Pruder film. He's free, everybody. Wild America. Glorious day. Yeah, Oh man! Hello, Enjoy your wild don't, don't America. Play it again. <laughs> yeah, don't loop sorry, it. Sorry, it's on a loop. God's sorry, sense. sorry. Ugh. Waiting for that call from Nat Geo. The only thing you we might have some of your films. The only thing you might be doing is creating <laughs> such a strange Kirby that she can't ever have a boyfriend. So she she'll just be a virgin until she's. 80. I don't know. If yeah, she I know, knows but you're. But it's weird that you're with your daughter, who should be more normal now, because she shouldn't be excited that her dad climbs out of cars and goes picks up bugs. Nine so, seconds before. But in a way, appears. it's genius because <laughs> any guy that's like interested, you're going to be like, you want to go back to my house and watch Praying Mantis eat crickets? Be like, this chick's nuts. <laughs> that's never a first date, John. It's no, it's not. And there's never a there's second never date. There's never going to be a second date with this. One, so you don't have to worry about it. Yep. If, if on a date you're with a girl and she goes, pull over, pull over. What is it? I got to get out of the car real quick. I think I just saw a bug in the wall I got to keep. Oh, okay. Well, you can just stay out of the car, you lunatic. <laughs> I know people were giving me a hard time on the filming, but you gotta understand when you handle a praying mantis, you don't know what you're getting. Sometimes it can I know be what I'm getting. Aggressive. I just had to make Ambient. sure. Boredom. Bored. But when you What's bond with animals like I do, wild eyes. animals. Mm, God, I wish we'd bond with a grizzly bear. <laughs> I wish we'd like, meld with Soon. Them. Oh. That picture we got of the car with the cubs on it, that is you. That's going to no, be you. It's, I can't wait. Here comes Mama Bear. Because <laughs> it'll kill this Instagram thing and he thinks it's a thing. Is, that is one, boss that, KUPD. That might be the worst video you've got on there, and that's that's a doozy. That's saying a lot. That is saying a lot. You filmed nothing. There's a Texas laurel tree, and we got a lot of that. Man, your little sausage fingers with a bug on it. <laughs> it's just beautiful, man. Your target audience is like three, and so spectrumed. It's painful. The feedback was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was. People Please like, kill yourself. Made, one lady said it made my week. <laughs> right. This video has That's what changed my life. That's from other weirdos. That lady who likes to suck the life out of daddy long legs. <laughs> right. Your ilk. Yeah, you've, uh, that may be a stroke of genius that you don't know. And I know you don't like hearing the word stroke a lot. But the stroke of genius in this is that you've created a forever virgin in Kirby. <laughs> and that's kind of smart on your end. Nobody's going to want to be around her, the bug girl. When that uh, tree blooms, it smells like bubble gum. Okay, that might be the most boring fun fact of all time, too. Does it make bubble gum? I wish it did. <laughs> make it end, please. I'll let you know when it blooms, Brett. You can come yeah, over. Thanks, and, thanks. We can come over and breathe smell in. Brady's yard. Mm, nothing more fun than just breathing in a guy's yard. Really take that for I'll granted. I'll keep you posted. 
All right. I'm on the edge of my seat waiting for that. Can we get Kirby to just have a couple months with mom by herself? Kind of normalize. I feel really bad for her. Her stories are going to be terrible. And nobody's going to be. Content, though. Keeps the dicks away. <laughs> you're kind of you're in that teen area. I don't now know what she, you're talking about. She's kind of wanting to do that. She's probably getting to that point in her brain where she's a little bit curious about maybe reaching down there and feeling what it's all about. La la. Yeah, la, no, la, I know, la, but la, she's la. there. Thirteen, fourteen. That's where I first had my uh, girl grab my honker. Fourteen years old. That wasn't Bebop, and she was thirteen. No, Todd Bebop and I peed together once, but it was different. <laughs> Yeah, we had our wieners out, but we didn't touch each other. So. Oh, okay. But the uh, yeah, her name was Sharla. She grabbed my wiener at Fiesta Mall on the stairs. We didn't know what we were doing. Tried to kiss on the stairs. And, and she went right for it. Yeah, she, I, she was quick. She's, Pro. Yeah, well, I don't know that she did it intentionally. We sat at the stairs. There used to I be stairs know. from uh, by the by the Dillard's. I guess it's a Diamonds then. And we sat right. at the bottom of the stairs. You remember? You know, yeah, and it was yeah. a staircase to the second outside of the mall and we sat there and then our faces just kind of pushed together mouths were open and we didn't really know what to do like i think we just kind of tongue darted a couple of times and like Ugh. and our next move was to the dong well we were doing a lot of like rubbing and hugging and then hand hit the dong it wasn't a long hand dong hold but it was a dong she touch was a pro. it was a dong touch she, was she wasn't a pro. a pro. I can tell you from the kissing part, she wasn't a pro. Maybe later she was like, oh, she was working on it. It was more me. I didn't know what I was doing. She probably already been with Chad Kinney or something like that. McKinney, McKinney yeah. Well, McKinney yeah. nailed her eventually. He got everybody. I got, I got twice from McKinney. McKinney just went around hosing. All right, I got one for Brett. But yeah, the, uh, salv- salvage this. Kirby's going to be on that, and these bug stories are going to keep dongs away. So you've you've brilliantly should write a little book called Daddy Dong Away. <laughs> Keep the dongs off your girl. Hey, Brett, that's the next T-shirt, too, by the way. Keep the dong away. <laughs> Keep your dongs off my daughter. I see if Brady wears that shirt around. <laughs> yeah. Keep your dong on my daughter. She likes bugs. All right, a little workout here with uh, some resistance band. Okay. Oh, it's, <laughs> it snapped off her foot and went right into the gooch. Oh, oh she's trying to oh, pull oh, up oh, with the resistance. Oh, 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 man. man. Oh, that is an that is a super thong. <laughs> Resistance band around the foot snaps oh. right up into the cracker. Oh, <laughs> all right, beautiful. There we go. There's Ask, damage. Asking you shall receive. Somebody found video. the video of okay. oh, the uh, the, the news. No, no, the news. Oh. The naked news. Uh, this yeah, one coming it. from Rico. Rico. Hopefully, uh, you're gonna get Rick rolled. Yeah, I think. No, so. no, I'd, he's already tested. I've I've looked at part of it. Right. I didn't watch the whole thing. Here we go. Were... Hit play. Cream. You know, look now at our forecast. Things have just been beautiful this weekend. They've been warm. They have been sunny. But really, how long is it going to last for us? Meteorologist Michelle Boss joining us right Whoa. now. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I'm back. Thirteen seconds. You know, it can't last look forever, but it can last into the start of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, looks like the girls. Oh! 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 Guy reaches and spreads Wait. the butt cheeks. <laughs> Best oh. weather ever. <laughs> Royal Norman, you have been served. I got to see Kimmy Q pull that off Saturday morning. Looks like on the uh, northwest area, there's wow, some cheeseburgers that's coming fantastic. down. Fantastic, Brady. Did you just week? equate a vagina yes. to a cheeseburger? <laughs> Do you realize the problem that exists in you? You know, it can't last forever. But it, it doesn't last look like a cheeseburger. It looks like that's what we're going to get. Some bonus days of nice weather. Oh, the <laughs> dude reaching around and giving it to spread. <laughs> it's just a lady sleeping with her butt out. That's the a very common appointment. theme. And then the thumb shows up, <laughs> opens it up. Full beehole over the right shoulder of the weather lady. That's a great shot. And they're in big trouble. Like that, I was reading oh, yeah. about the fines that are heading their way if they can't explain that right now. And that's why they're saying, oh, we got hacked, we got hacked. But somebody should have been able to shut the chroma key off for a yep. second if they still use that. And just kill that whole screen. 13 seconds. 13 seconds of them trying to figure out why that's still over the right shoulder of us. What is that? Up here in Kingman, we have, whoa, a sinkhole of sorts. Look what's coming out of Wenatchee. <laughs> it's like a cheeseburger. To who? Keep the dongs off my daughter. <laughs> that's your new, like, remember how Bob Barker used to say, spay and neuter your pets at the end of every broadcast? That's your thing. And remember, folks, keep the dongs away from my daughter. Yeah, you've you've kind of brilliantly stumbled into the dong away. I'm proud of you. 
So my daddy and I used to watch praying mantises eat cricket heads. Whoa, this chick's bananas. <laughs> so if you want to come over, I got a bunch of things trapped in glass jars. <laughs> uh, I'll pass. Swipe, you. swipe right. Yeah. How about a slice guy. of chirpumple? <laughs> oh, you're not getting that from her. No. There we go. <laughs> Daddy's already eaten most of that. <laughs> yep. I guess we don't have any more chirpumple. That mound of humanity over there sleeping it off yeah. must have gotten hold of it. Sorry, Kirby Herb, I know you're on a date. Show them your bugs. <laughs> Chicken lady loves life, loves bugs and worms. All right, there you go. Nicely done. That video on your Instagram is... I I said yesterday I don't have anything that I feel strongly enough to pick it or protest, but I would walk <laughs> away from my job to get you to stop it. You're rethinking I that? I would rethink that. I think that's a stance I would take. I would Gandhi up and have a food strike so long as Brady's Instagram is still a thing. Uh, there goes your Brady Report. It's 98 KUPD. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. That's a joke, right? You're, you're joking? You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com.